and welcome back to the channel on this video let's talk about the Super 73 specifically the RX Mojave so about six months ago I did a video talking about the Super 73 prices going up and in and that was at the end of uh, 2022 so they were going to be going up in January of 2023 which is where we are now in late June of 2023 so I wanted to check six months later do another video on that bike talking about it so I'm gonna read you some st uh, specs on the bike in just a minute but first I wanted to mention that back then not long before the price was announced that it was going to go up I was looking at possibly buying one before I ended up buying the Lyric Graffiti, the bike that I'm on right now. And so what happened was, I was looking for another bike to go with the uh, Grizzly, to have a second bike, actually a third bike, because I also have the Rad Rover, but I wanted a bike that more is more similar to the uh, Grizzly, and I have two. And so, <clears throat> when I was looking around, I got down to a couple of bikes, three bikes I was looking at at the end, and I kept coming back to this one and eventually bought it, the Lyric Graffiti. But at the time I was looking at the Onyx City 2 and I was also looking at the Super 73 RX Mojave. And that was the only one I actually saw in person. I went right to the store here, a motorcycle shop that sells Super 73s and was looking at at the Super 73s. I sat on one. I did not take it for a run. At the time we went there to look at them, David and I, my friend David, we uh, got there when the store was getting close to closing anyway and I wasn't thinking too much about buying one at that time. I just wanted to look at them. And I mean, they were impressive to look at and all. It was great. I sat on it, felt great. But uh, in the end, of course, I didn't purchase it. But so anyway, the price went from $36.95 at that time to $39.95 where it is now. And I wondered back then at $36.95, was it worth it? And since the price has jumped this year to $39.95, I'm asking again, is it worth it? So let's look at a few of the specs, the more important things on the bike. So it is a 48 volt, 750 watt nominal motor. If you do switch it to off-road mode, they say that the motor is 1200 watt nominal. The battery is a 48 volt, 20 amp hour. It does have a full suspension, and I have not ridden a Super 73, but uh, from what I hear other people say or watch videos on, on the bike, the uh, standout of this bike is the suspension. It has a great suspension, at least that's what it, people are saying. So I'll go along with that and agree, even though I've not tried it, it sounds like it's a great suspension, so let's just say it has that. The seat height on that bike is pretty similar to most bikes, 32 inches. That seems to be a pretty common seat height. It does have hydraulic, hydraulic uh, brakes. It has a thumb throttle. It is a, a single speed. And it weighs 84 pounds, capacity is 325, 
It's got grizzly tires that are 20 by four and a half in the front. The rear tire is 20 by five. I love the nice wide tires on the bike. It does have a headlight, tail light, and a horn. And like I say, the price is $39.95. Also, there is a shipping charge. So on top of your $39.95, there's a flat charge of $150 if you're having it shipped within the 48, uh, lower 48 states. If you're having it shipped to Alaska or Hawaii, I believe, it was $450 or $500, I'm not sure, but I was paying more attention to where I'm at and how much it would cost for me. And so $150 tacked on, so you're looking at $4,145 for that bike. And depending on where you are, what state you're in and all, there's going to be a sales tax on top of that, of course, but that's going to be with all bikes. Here in Oregon, we do not have a sales tax, so we do have that advantage. So there it is, $4,145. Is it worth it? I say, no, it's not worth it. And that's without trying one, just from what I've read and what other people say about the bike and all and what's out there. Um, the most common problem with that bike that I hear is that it, it lacks power. It doesn't have a lot of get up and go. It claims the top speed is 28 plus. I've heard people say they've gotten up to 32. I don't know if it can sustain 32 for very long, but that's top speed that I've heard them say that that bike gets. But I want you to chime in and let me know in the comments, is that bike worth it to you? The, the Super 73 RX Mojave, $39.95 plus $150 shipping. Would you pay it? And if you own a Super 73 RX, or any Super 73 for that matter, let me know in the comments um, whether you're happy with the bike at the price you paid, or after having it a while, do you think, looking back now, you wish you hung on your money and bought something else? I think for $41.45, I would definitely be shopping around. I think what happens is, Super 73 has been out there a while and built up a pretty good reputation. So I think reputation, reputation in this case has taken them a little ways. So. I think an advantage though to Super 73 over a lot of other companies is the fact that they're sold in a lot of places. Like I say, we can, right here in uh, my area here, we have a motorcycle shop that sells them, so they will do repairs. So if anybody out there would rather somebody else do the repairs than themselves, it can get a little tricky uh, on some bikes uh, as to where you can take it to be fixed because there are a lot of places that won't even look at e-bikes particularly fat tire e-bikes with a rear hub uh, motor or a hub motor for that matter it doesn't matter if it's rear or not but So 
So that's going to do it for this video. So let me know in the comments what you think of the Super 73. Particularly, I'm, I'm mostly I'm thinking the RX Mojave, but it can be any Super 73. Are you do you own a Super 73? Are you happy with it? Would you buy one? Um, if you don't own one now, would you would you buy one, or would you say now I'm going to look around and see what else is out there? Because I know there's a lot of others out there that I could buy. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And you'll get notified as to when the next video is up on the channel. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.